Hey guys, today uh, we got an awesome product. It's by Crafty. It's a 24 inch by 24 inch photography softbox kit. And it comes with five colored backdrops and a nice carrying case to keep it nice and portable. And includes a carrying handle. So right now I'm gonna show you how to unfold it and then pack it all back up. So here is the kit in a nice bag, very compact. It's got a zipper, goes halfway around, and you pull out the backdrop, and this is going to pop open on us. The box is basically tucked in on itself, and you pull the inside out. And you can see it's a little bit off. It's not 24 by 24, it's a little bit taller. It should be on that end. Uh, right now we've got it on the side but there are velcro spots in the back you can see where you can velcro the backdrop the backdrops all have velcro on all sides which is great so it makes it nice and easy and quick so we're gonna pick the white backdrop and flip it the right direction in this case we're starting at the bottom trying to get those sides fastened. The top is a little bit tricky. You could lay it on its back or reach in there like we're doing right now and get the Velcro pieces to attach. I wish the Velcro was a little bit longer. That way it didn't have to be exactly as precise to get it to stick. You can see how it's wanting to drop because we're not quite getting the Velcro on the Velcro. But once you get everything set up, it looks fantastic. And don't worry about the wrinkles. The wrinkles will come out, but they also should come out with a little bit of modification. So see it's drooping a little bit, but there's the backdrop. Here we've got the front cover to prevent any light leaks. And it's got Velcro throughout the perimeter of the front. And there's a nice slot in the front to stick your camera lens to eliminate as much light as possible direct light. Comes off just as easy as it went on. You can fold that up on the creases that it already has existing. So we're going to fold those pieces the way they were. It takes no time at all. Now that's that inside white backdrop. Here's the front cover. And then now collapsing this thing, it tucks in on itself. So you right side tucks in then the left side tucks in the sides you can leave exposed or tuck them in it's up to you now you grab the square corner by corner and twist it just like you do in a car window visor so we're going to do it one more time and then push it closed there you've got it. it's completely flat stick it in there it's going to want to open on itself and then you can put the rest of the kit back in the bag there's also an instruction manual off that um, we didn't exactly show but we're going to stick it in the bag right now and what did that take probably two minutes a minute to undo and then a minute to close Here is the overall kit, this time with a black backdrop, and I've got all the other backdrop colors inside the kit. We'll get a little bit closer. You can see some of the Velcro strips down on the right that I was talking about. Don't worry about those, but you can use those to fasten it to the overall soft box. And then here itself, you've got the carrying bag, you've got instruction manual, 
you've got a thank you card, and then you've got the different colored backdrops. Black we're using right now, blue, red, green, and then the white, depending on what you're trying to photograph. This is great for studio photography. If you've got something you want to put on eBay or make it look really professional, this is the way to go. You don't get a lot of reflections because the box itself is made out of a translucent material, very lightweight, but it doesn't allow direct light that may cause unwanted bright spots or undesirable shadows in your photography. So this is my fancy schmancy setup. I actually did it outside in the sun on a table and took some photographs of various objects that I'll show you right now on how they turned out. The first photograph, this is a bronze eagle on a black backdrop. And I didn't worry about seeing the edges of the softbox or the wrinkles. And I took the photo and all I did was crop it modify the actual contrast and exposure and put a vignette around it and that's it I didn't Photoshop anything else in and I think it turned out pretty nice so this next one is of my tennis shoes brand new and I did a better job I guess with the exposure taking the photograph but using the same technique with the contrast and exposure I darkened it and you can see how it got rid of the background completely. And I think it looks very professional to be able to put on an eBay seller listing. I was pretty proud of it. This other photograph is the shoes again. Rotated them just slightly and uh, you can see on the toe there's a little bit of a light leak that I had but everything else darkened really nicely when I adjusted the contrast. So overall I'll have to admit this is my first time using a softbox and the learning curve wasn't that steep. It's uh, pretty self-explanatory. You can get rid of some of those wrinkles that they drive you nuts with maybe a steam, um, not steam iron but like a, something you would garment steam. Uh, I would not recommend sticking it in the dryer. If you do put it in the dryer, I would use a low heat. So I want to again thank Crafty for allowing me to review this product and go to the link on Amazon below to check it out and get it for yourself. Please like and subscribe this video. It allows me to continue doing other great reviews. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.